What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael and we are bringing you the next week of RCF and today we are taking on the commissioner himself, Slightly Salty, the coach of the Giga Impacts. So now Slightly Salty's team is super, super interesting. Um, he's got a lot of power, ain't even gonna lie. Totally, totally stacked with a lot of power. Um, not even... I mean, Garbodor, G-Max, Garbodor, Necrozma, Dawn Wings. We, we literally got the battle of the Necrozmas this episode. Um, we got the Kiro, we got the Jirachi. He's got some power on the squad. He's got my Incineroar dropping that physical attack, which is going to be scary. He's got shenanigans. That's going to be interesting. Interesting as all heck. This is my squad. We have two Focus Sashes, one Citrus Berry, one Choice Scarf. Um, let's get it. Let's get it. Um, I'm 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 nervous. I'm nervous. Um, my prep for this week. Um, I just kind of went off the team. He went with the bus wool. He went with the bus wool. Let's go ahead and take a look really quick to see where I'm at. Um, um, no Kiram this week, which is a shocker. Kind of threw a dent in the whole um strat that I had there. Uh, Galarian wheezing is a yes for his squad. So Galarian Weezing is a yes. Um, he brought the Rotom. I knew that. Garbled up Buzzswole over no Incineroar. No Incineroar. So the beast boosting Buzzswole is is coming in. Um, my goodness, why did y'all do that? How dare y'all? So yeah, the beast boosting Buzzswole. So let me go ahead and we're going to do this. Beast boosting Buzz Swole coming in. I really hope he doesn't leave with a Rotom Wash. We got the Battle of the Rotoms and the Battle of the Necrozmas this episode. My goodness. Craziness, craziness, craziness. Um, we're taking off everything that we don't see here. Pin Urchin is gone. Um, um, Dewblade is gone. X Blood is gone. That's gone. All right, perfect. That is this team that we're going against. All right, good luck. Good luck. All right. Starlight's coming out, which is Jirachi. Oh my goodness, Cherish Ball, Shiny Jirachi. Um, we got a really good pick right here. Um, really good pick. I'm gonna go ahead and. We're going to see really quick. Overheat does a ton. Um, Dark Pulse does not do much. It's literally Overheat. If he predicts Overheat, who is he going to go into? Rotom. I'm a Thunder. Predicting a swap. He U-turned out. Okay. He U-turned out. Who is he going into? Let's see if my Thunder Wave... Come on, who are you going into? Whatever it is, I ain't gonna appreciate this Thunder Wave. I'm telling you that much right now. Oh man, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. All right, who's this? Who's this T Wave? You gonna pick up? Let's check out these stats that my my main man over here is bringing. Donwing Necrozma has gotten two kills this season. T Wave going in. We doing it. All right, the T-Wave going through. The T-Wave is going through on my guy there. Um, um, the the T-Wave, I am, I am very interested in all this. We are overheating, let's see what happens. He's probably gonna, he might Oko me, I'm faster. Oh my goodness, oh wow. Wow, both turns got crazy. He got paired first turn and I missed. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. That was crazy. I think Slightly Salty might have said the same thing that I did and was like, that's insane. I missed and he got the paired. Can we get two in a row? Can we get two in a row? Oh, two in a row? Yo, that's crazy. I'm so sorry, Salty. That right there is crazy. Um, We got the overheat. The overheat did drop me a little bit. Um... Okay, I think we might be hard switch, yo. 
I think we hard switch. I don't know why I was surprised that we're faster. I'm like, dude, he's freaking paralyzed. Am I dumb? Here it is, Power Gym. Eden up. Yo, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. See what happens here. Oh my goodness, man. The hacks are unreal. Unreal. Unreal hacks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I feel bad. Alright. My Dawn Wings takes out the Dusk Wings. Oh, the hacks, man. The hacks. Oh my goodness. I feel bad. The, uh, I will say it was pretty clutch the first turn I missed and then Para came through, but then gets parried immediately, hits a power gym, then gets parried again. That was, that's bad luck. Oh my goodness. You know what that means? That means later on down the road, I'm going to get hit pretty hard. So we're about to see what happens here. Um, Necrozma Dawn Wings is up plus two. Uh, Cycle comes out. Um, Cycle is Levitate. Um, Cycle is Levitate. I'm going to hit with a Photon Geyser. We're going to see what happens. Um, Dark Pulse is going to come through. It's going to hit pretty good. Um, not going to kill, though. Um, it's a two-hit kill for sure. Uh, let's see what Photon Geyser does. It's going to hit physical. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. So we got Dust Main took out two, which is good. So we got the Wash and the... Uh, Dawn wings out, so we got rid of his Uber. We got rid of the tech. Um, Jirachi, I'm a little nervous about Jirachi. It has Saren Grace though, um, so we're in good shape right now. We're in real clean shape. Um, kind of nervous about the uh, wheezing. Oh my goodness, we have the wheezings. Literally, our team is is like direct opposite of each other. He's got Galarian wheezing. I got Cantonian wheezing. He's got Wash. I got Heat. He's got Dawn wings. All right, he has dust wings. I have dawn wings. Crazy, crazy battle, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, Starlight's coming out, which is the Jirachi again. Um, his Jirachi, I think, might be faster. I'm gonna hit an EQ. Um, he might U-turn out just off the rip. Might U-turn out. Um, we're about to see. Okay, he just U-turns out. How much is that going to do? Then chip me away. Okay, it does a little bit more chip. Um, it was a crit. Okay. Who's taking this EQ? It might be wheezing. Is it? But I don't think it's. Um, I think it's a neutralizing gas wheezing and not levitate wheezing. Is it? Nice. Neutralizing gas wheezing. Okay. So he's still going to take this earthquake. Is it going to kill though? Is it in range? Okay, it is in range. Okay. So we do pick up the other knockout on the wheezing. That wash, man, that para mattered like 100%. The para mattered for sure. Um, he's got Buzz Swole. He's got his Uber left, or he's got his Buzz Swole. He's got his G Max left. Um, he is going to definitely hit. Um, I'm probably, I'm absolutely in range here, for sure. So. Ooh, he just does it. He just does it with another crit. Okay, that Saren Grace came through for sure. Um, who is he? He throws out first, and then I do. So who does he throw out? Is the question conductor? Okay. So he throws out that guy. I'm gonna throw out my Flygon for sure. Um, Flygon's gonna drop an EQ, like, definitely. He's gonna G-Max, um, he's gonna G-Max. Flygon's faster, I wanna say. Is Flygon faster under G-Max? Might be. He might be faster under G-Max, for sure. Is he faster? I'm so bad at, like, freaking remembering stuff like this, guys. I apologize. I don't know for sure, like, how much the speed changes. But I do remember on the last battle I had with Monkferno, the speed was different. So, okay, I, I outspeed. Okay. So I take a big chunk with that EQ. Um, Max Knuckle drops off to boost that physical attack. 
which comes through. Okay. So we're picking it up. We still have the Flygon still alive, which completely nullified my Focus Sash. I totally thought Kirim was coming out. Um, Flygon would have survived one hit from Kirim. Um, to my knowledge, I think. But that's why I kind of threw the Focus Sash on there, just in case. Or if he'd done something different. Um, okay, cool. He max guards. Okay. That's fair. Okay. He max guards up, boosting his HP up a little bit every turn. So that's wise. Um, he might have the Black Sludge on there, too, just to keep going just a little bit to get him out of that um, Oko range with Earthquake. Um, if he... I think... I don't know if he got enough, though, from that. I'm not sure if he got enough from that uh, that max guard turn. We're going to see here, though, um, if he got enough to survive another Earthquake. Um, hmm... I don't know. I love Garbodor. Let's talk about Garbodor's G Max. It's amazing. He does pull off and lives. Okay, nice. Max Overgrowth comes in. Okay, that's clutch. Um, that should be enough to take out Flygon, which it is. And he's gonna boost up a little bit from the Black Sludge as well as the Terrain Boost, which is really cool. So good stuff, my guy. Good stuff. Um, I'm gonna go into my Urshifu. Go into my Urshifu. I'm just going to G-Max up with my Urshifu. And we're just going to go from there. Because he is going to... Um, I think he's going to max guard this turn. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. This was the last turn. So I think he might just... I think he might just take it. So what are you going to do? I think he's just going to take the hit then. Is he gonna take the hit? I think he does. I think he takes the, the max knuckle. Um, so the question is now, does Urshifu stop Jirachi? I'm not entirely sure if it does. Not entirely sure if Urshifu does stop the Jirachi though. So we're about to find out here though, but my Urshifu is gonna go ahead and drop a max knuckle. Which is going to do mighty good damage and boost up my physical attack, which is clutch. Conductor is thick. Garbodor is amazing. I love that G-Max Garbodor. Garbodor. Did I say Garbodor? Garbodor. G-Max Garbodor is nice. Okay, so we got the boost on Urshifu. Um, is it going to be enough to stop the Jirachi, though? Don't know. Iron Head Jirachi is scary. U-Turn Jirachi is scary. Um, I don't have my Scarf Boost anymore from the G-Max. So we have to think about that. Um, if Buzzsaw comes out, if Buzzsaw throws some Protects up. I can't remember if Beast Boost is like a turn-based thing or is it after it knocks out or does something. I'm not entirely sure. Look at that freaking... Oh my gosh, Buzzsaw looks so good. I've This is the first time I've seen the uh, Buzzsaw in Sword and Shield. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a gosh darn. Maybe I hit another max knuckle. I don't think this thing knocks me out. I'm gonna drop another max knuckle though. I am faster. So let's see how much of this max knuckle does to this guy. It doesn't do much, but I get the secondary boost from the max knuckle. The next turn, I'll throw a thing out. Let's see how much damage I take from a drain punch. A good chunk. I take a ton of damage. I don't have a flying type move. And I really regret not prepping and putting a flying type. Okay, he is life orbed. He is life orbed. He's life orbed. So he's gonna do some damage here. Um, okay. So now we just do. Let's hit our move and we'll see what happens here. G Max one blow. Let's see what happens. Big old chunk there. Now Buzzwell is gonna take out Urshifu. Buswell takes out Urshifu. And he goes all the way back up. Oh my goodness. My goodness. That is clutch. Okay. So, this battle is far from over. And the Beast Boost comes up, which brings up his physical attack, which is not good by any means. Not good by any means. Um, we're going to go right into Rotom. 
And we're going to throw out another gosh diggity darn thunder. We're going to drop a thunder wave. Let's see what happens. I don't think he hard switches out. I really don't think he hard switches out. I couldn't see why. Um, this battle's far from over. He's got a he's got a boosted up ban here. Um, I don't really know what else I could have done differently. Um, I do have wheezing in the back, and we obviously have the gosh darn cloister. Okay, Stone Age comes through. Oh, it's over, bro. It's totally dead. Goodness. Goodness. Maybe I should have just swung for damage. Maybe I should have just swung for damage. Oh my goodness, bro. It's totally over. We're like, we're, we're done. Oh my goodness. If I don't, if I don't put like the absolute work in this thing, we're in serious trouble, guys. I might have just, Salty might have just scooped it all up. Totally might have just scooped it all up here. I really hope he does not have a gosh darn priority move on this guy. Like a sucker punch, I would literally be done. If he has sucker punch, it's over. Like if he has sucker punch, Salty's gonna pick up this this W. Like well deserved W for sure. For sure. If Salty has gosh diggity darn sucker punch, it's over. Oh, it's over, bro. There's like no way I'm stopping this thing. It's over. It's totally over. He didn't have sucker punch, but I don't think wheezing is going to be able to stop him. Um, and Zen Headbutt Jirachi is going to body wheezing. Like, totally body wheezing, for sure. Gosh diggity darn. Gosh diggity darn. Good stuff salty jirachi is definitely going to put in like the remaining of the work for sure um that freaking mosquito man my goodness all right jirachi versus wheezing i don't foresee wheezing picking up a dub here like at all um the only thing that i can think to do is we gosh darn will-o-wisp we gosh darn will-o-wisp or he iron heads. Okay, he might iron head just clutch me out. Is my might be what happens. Okay, we get it off. Okay, we do get it off. Okay. We get off the burn. So now we're doing this. We'll see what is his held item. I'm not entirely sure. Does he have Zen headbutt? He doesn't. He only has iron head. Um. Okay. We need. Okay. We just need to make sure. The Saren Grace, the Saren, the Saren Grace, headbutt flinches might be what does it here. We just have to, we just have to see if we can do it. Oh my goodness, got flinch. okay. So <laughs> we're now even on the paras and the flinches. Okay, we can, we still got this. This is anybody's game. This is still crazy, crazy matchup here. Crazy matchup. Salty has completely turned this around. We got the flamethrower off. Let's see how much damage this does to Jirachi here. We do a good chunk. We do a good chunk. This is still anybody's game. This is insane right now. This is insane right now. If you do not smash the like button on this freaking battle, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. This battle right here is... We have three minutes last Pokemon left three minutes last Pokemon left this is crazy 
crazy. Oh my good. A crit headbutt. Oh, the flamethrower goes off. GG. GG to my man. Slightly salty. That was crazy. You freaking flipped the script. Turned it around. And damn near stole the victory. You earned every bit of those kills. You earned everything, my man. That was absolutely crazy. Taking the lead card out of respect. That battle was intense. That battle was insane. You do not want to miss it. Literally, we had... He had Galarian Weezing. I had Cantonian Weezing. He had Wash. I had Heat. Oh, this this battle. He had Dawn Wings. I, I had Dawn Wings. He had freaking... I can't even speak right now. That battle was crazy. That battle was freaking crazy, guys. I, I can barely breathe. That was insane. It literally came down to the wire. Literally came down to the wire. That was crazy, guys. Please, please, please check out Slightly Salty's channel. Link is in the description. He does a lot of content. He's got a TikTok. Go check it out. He does pack openings, all kinds of stuff. And he's the commissioner for the RCF. But with that, everybody, guys, I have been the Phantom Michael, and I will see you guys in the next one.